What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be doing a quick game review on LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. Let's get into it. Taking a look at the back of the cover for this game, it highlights some of the key features or key elements of this game including blaster battles, high speed dogfights and multi build systems. This game was a big step forward for LEGO games in general because of more technical elements than previous LEGO games had. Now, if we have a look on the inside to have a look at the cartridge, this is what the cartridge looks like. It looks pretty cool. As you can see, you've got the Star Wars branding, and you've got a little figure of BB-8, obviously Nintendo 3DS at the top. And if we move this out of the way and put the game in our system, here we go. There's the artwork that it displays. So, we'll go ahead and open the game up. And we'll do a quick test of performance. When you get to the loading screen, this is what you'll be greeted with. So, we can press start to go to the next area where we'll be able to access our saved games. So, we'll just continue the game that we already have. And this is the cool loading screen that you have before you load into the game. Obviously, at the bottom, you can see your LEGO Star Wars branding. And at the top, you've got a cool little... X-Wing in hyperspace, which you can just fly around so you don't get bored while you wait for your game to load, which I think is a cool feature, considering that a lot of games have extremely long waiting times. Okay, we're in the hub world now, and it's st and in this case, it starts you off as... Uh, well, in my case, it starts me off as a pilot character in front of one of the X-Wings. Taking a look around the hub world, you can see that it's not the most detailed thing in the world, as you'd expect from a 3DS game. However, it doesn't look half bad. So, you can move around. You can attack pressing Y. You can switch characters by pressing X. Press A to, in this case, shoot my gun. And press B to jump. This cam um, The bumpers on the side change your camera angle. And that's about it in terms of controls. On the bottom, you've got your mini-map where you can go into the galaxy to view your levels i'm pretty sure yep here you've got vehicles that you can unlock and here you can switch between all of your characters so let's switch to luke skywalker oh whoops let me do that again so oh there we go and here this time we see we've got a lightsaber so we press circle now it doesn't do anything because this is obviously just a simple melee weapon now, in terms of the performance, it's decent. It's definitely quite a bit better than the Lord of the Rings for Nintendo DS and Minecraft for Nintendo 3DS. This is more on the lines of a mobile game, and if you do want to play this on another system aside from the Nintendo 3DS, you can purchase this for mobile, or if you own a PS Vita, you could also play it on that too. Obviously, this game is not technically advanced compared to the console version of this title. However, I think it's a pretty decent pull of an already pretty good console game. Now, if you're a fan of these LEGO Star Wars style of games, then I think anyone will be interested in this game. It's quite good. There's some things about it that bugs me a little bit. So, for example... The first level on console is a prologue level where you play through a bit of episode 6 of Star Wars. However, in this game, it throws you straight into episode 7. Thus, the title of Force Awakens, I guess. If you do want to play the start of, or in this case, the end of episode 6, you'll need to complete the game and get a few gold bricks before you will be able to access that level. Overall, I think it's a pretty decent game. It's definitely not the best thing on the 3DS, especially when you consider things like Super Smash Bros, Pokemon. But in terms of LEGO games, this one's actually pretty decent. So, let me know in the comment section below whether or not you would actually pick this game up for yourself. And hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, remember to hit that thumbs up button or subscribe on the channel. And we'll catch you in the next video. Catch you guys later. Peace out.